Hayaang buksan ang isipan Sa science o agham This video is about developmental genetics I am Mitsu Jao Balisteros And I'm Camille Secot And I'm Franz Salaso And I'm Eloise Ceres And without further ado, let's just get started What does developmental genetics mean? Developmental genetics is a study of how genes control the growth and development of an organism throughout its life cycle. And the process that changes a single cell into a new cell called development. There's three important processes involved in creating an organism from a single cell. First, the cell division. It means that the cells are divided to produce more cells. Second is cell differentiation. Cells change into different types of cells to do specific jobs in the body, from nerve cells to muscle cells. And lastly, morphogenesis. Morphogenesis is a group of cells that gives a shape or structure for an organism. The function of genes is to pass on the information necessary to build protein and bodies from one generation to the next generation. Genes contain the information of a cell needs to make protein a bit like recipe for a living organism. A newly fertilized egg cell has a collection of genes that contain all information needed to transform into a single cell into an embryo and then an adult. Different genes contain the information needed to make different proteins and different proteins to do different jobs in the cell. One way in which genes can influence the activity of other genes is through the production of genes called the transcrip transcription factors, which stick to special control sites in the DNA at the start of a gene to switch them on and off. It's change into different types of cells because of changes in the way their genes work. Some genes are activated and some are inactivated. As a result, a cell produces produces a specific set of proteins. So, for example, a nerve cell produces only the proteins needed to make a nerve cell, and the muscle cells produces a protein needed to make a muscle cell. Today, I will going to discuss about control of gene expression in your youths. When we say gene expression, it refers to genes being turned in and producing a product. The product could be an enzyme, a structural protein, or a control molecule. The study of gene expression typically measures the production of mRNA. Most mechanisms that control gene expression do so long controlling transcription, the synthesis of mRNA. However, there are other mechanisms for controlling the rate of protein synthesis that occur downstream. Too many billion people running around the planet. What is the chance in heaven that you cell determination? Cell determination that implies a stable changes in cells. The fate of the determined cell does not change at all. The determination of cell type involves a progressive restriction in their developmental potential. Some other aspect of cell determination. The fate decision becomes self-perpetuating. The progeny subsequence of determined cell usually have the fate which sometimes are modified form of cells. Developmental potential means describe the range of different cell types. But there are some uncommon organisms after two to four cell stages. As the development proceeds, the developmental potential of individual cells decrease until their fate are decided. But symmetric and asymmetric division of cell determinant by which a single genetic pair make up divide and generate cells of a distinct characteristic of phenotypes and genotype and the cell type or fate. The next topic is all about cell differentiation. Cell differentiation followed by determination as the cell elaborates a specific developmental program that results presence of cell types that has clear-cut identities such as muscle cells, nerve cells, 
and skin cells and other types of cells. The specific component of given cells provide its special characteristics. These components are either synthesized by protein or protein by themselves. By expressing different subsets of genes, two cells can contain different subsets of gene product such as protein. Next topic is all about morphogenesis. Morphogenesis from the Greek word morphe means shape and genesis means creation, which means beginning of shapes. As the advancing technology in research science in modern days, the magnification of cell organism which help us enough to clarify or differentiate or, or discover new things of all living organisms. That the cell is the beginning of all living organisms and the basic unit of structure and reproduction. While in determination result is specific cell determinants and while in differentiation result is specific cell types or the morphogenesis. Morphogenesis is the process whereby the shape of an embryo is generated. It involves regulated pattern of cell division and cell elongation that leads to changes in cell shapes. I got this feeling. In this video, we will go on to talk about cell determination and cell differentiation and theory in cell determination of genes and morphogenesis. There is a specific process, a specific pathway that leads for genes expression and eventual development into different types of genes or different type of specialized genes. So determination and cell differentiation are steps along that path. In cell determination, the determination of different cell types involves progressive restriction in their developmental potential. When a cell chooses a particular fate, it is said to be determined. Determination implies a stable change. The fate of determined cells does not change. In mechanism of cell determination, some cells became different from their parent cells. Some identical daughter cells became different from one another, and one daughter cell became a neuron while the other daughter cell became a skin. It results from the symmetric segregation of cellular determinants and in most cases, determination is the result of inductive signaling between cells. In asymmetric segregation of cellular determinants, it is based on the asymmetric localization of cytoplasmic molecules, usually proteins or mRNAs, within a cell before it divides. During cell division, one daughter cell receives most or all of the localized molecules, while the other cell receives less or none of these molecules. This results in two different daughter cells, which then take on different cell fates based on differences in gene expression. The localized cytoplasmic determinants are often mRNAs encoding transcription factors, or the transcription factors themselves. In inductive signaling between cells, there are three main ways in which signals can be passed between cells. In the first mechanism, a diffusible signal is sent through the extracellular space and is received by a cell surface receptor, which further transmits the signal by way of second messengers. In the second mechanism, cells directly contact each other through transmembrane proteins, which located on their surfaces. In the third mechanism, the cytoplasm of two cells is connected through gap junctions, allowing the signal to pass directly from one cell to another cell. In plants, the reconnection between cells are called plasmodesmata. Cell differentiation In biology, cell differentiation is a normal process by which a less specialized cell develops or matures into a more distinct form, and it becomes more specialized cell type. Differentiation follows determination. As the cell elaborates a cell-specific developmental program, differentiation results in the presence of cell types that have clear-cut identities. 
such as muscle cells, nerve cells, and skin cells. Differentiation results from differential gene expression. The specific components of a given cell provides its special characteristics. These components are either synthesized by proteins or proteins themselves. Next are the theory of cell determination in genes and morphogenesis. The theory of cell determination in genes. The embryological origins of the gene theory are about heredity. Mendel called them by long the Sphigen element or form building elements and now we call them genes. It is in Mendel's term that we see how closely intertwined were the concept of inheritance developed in the 19th century. Mendel's observation, however, did not indicate where these hereditary elements existed in the cell or how they came to be expressed. The gene theory that was to become the cornerstone of modern genetics originated from a controversy within the field of physiological embryology. And lastly, the theory of cell determination in morphogenesis. In biology, morphogenesis means the origin and development of morphological characteristics or the biological process that causes an organism to develop its form. Coming from the Greek word morphe, that means shape, and genesis means curation, morphogenesis literally means beginning of the shape. Morphogenesis is one of the three fundamental aspects of developmental biology, along with the control of cell growth and cellular differentiation, unified in evolutionary developmental biology. While differentiation results in specific cell types, morphogenesis is the process whereby the shape of embryo is generated. Morphogenesis in both plants and animals involves regulated patterns of cell division and cell elongation that leads to change in cell shape. Cell movement also plays a critical important role in animal morphogenesis.